told you I told her that. Something of note, and this will go. Should we, should we break this point? Um, we will be very much interested in our euro yen. Okay, breaking the one nineteen sixty four. Now this high. Okay, mind is the daily chart. This high is one. Now, looking at the bigger picture on a weekly, that's a big failure to make a new low. It's a structure 142.81 on a weekly. That is most certainly our structural long for you. The structural long in the euro dollar. Structural short is here, it's the 140.28. 140.28, particularly if we fail to move above this high here, and that 140.28 will be will be the equivalent. came back to test it, it's moved up, it's a good level, that's your short, 140.28. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what this euro dollar does next week, at this high and the previous high, very interesting indeed. We will be watching closely. Um, the euro still seems to have, despite, despite Despite of um, bearish fundamentals, that euro is still going, which in itself is a bullish picture. Now, this is rather clear. Let's stick our structure in on our 200 tick formation. It's what you should do on your charts. 200 ticks, you should always have the structure points in. Structure runs 142.81. Okay. You know, just so you know, by breaking the one day high, where you know what you've got. So the long, the, strictly speaking, the long is the, the long is the high here above the one day high. That's your long by all means. For safe, you know, if you're if you want to be more cautious, you wait for this to be bought. But above the one day high. So the long here is 142, 
intents and purposes of the interview. 40 is your short. This because the euro dollar is you know the rate you know the the price action has been quite um, the price action has been quite choppy compared to some of these real trending yens. Um, we don't want to get pulled around too much in this condition. So around the around the daily highs and lows, we don't want. We don't want the market to trade above the highs and come back in, or above the low, you know, below the, the daily lows and highs, and then and then meet revert. So our stops are going to be um, going to be either side of these these levels. So if we're going long at the 142.44, we want our stop at 142.15. Just accommodate this this low here. 142. These previous these two previous highs. 142. 15 will do well for our long stop and for our short stop we'll use the level um, that is buying this no, this range this range this range and this this range lows and highs of the ranges we're going to use the stop as 141.65 so the short stop is 141.65 Don't want to get pulled around too much in this uh, 